things I'm going to do is sign the Virginia equivalent HB2 that was passed in North Carolina last year. We must, we've got a great supervisor here at Claudia, right? We've got a great supervisor at Claudia Clark, but that's not, that's not true. That is not true up in Arlington. That is not true up in Alexandria or Fairfax or Richmond or Petersburg or Portsmouth. You've got a lot of liberals out there, folks. And you know something? This is not a matter of local control. This is a matter of our state and our culture and our values. We cannot allow these liberal localities to mandate private companies to provide for a transgender bathroom. That is wrong. As a governor, I will absolutely prohibit any locality from, from doing any such thing and, and promoting transgenderism in any way, shape, or form. It's absolutely, horrendously despicable. So, we can't avoid the social issues, folks. We can't. This is our culture. There are big issues, big economic issues that we're facing, tax issues. But when we give up on our culture and we give up on our heritage, we've lost everything. And that is why with governor, with me as governor, you're going to find the strongest advocate for Virginia's heritage and values that we have ever seen. Thank you very much. You know, it's interesting, the left is so adept at using language, and so they talk about bathroom bills. This isn't about bathrooms alone. It's also about compelling teenage girls to share locker room showers with teenage boys. It's about compelling teenage girls to have to stay in a hotel room with a teenage boy on an overnight fan trip. And the fact is we have to make clear that we are going to protect our children from that. We're not going to allow for that to happen. And I was very glad when Secretary DeVos and Attorney General Sessions came forward and repealed the federal government's, the Trump, uh, the uh, Obama administration's effort to impose that on every school district in the country and compel them to allow for uh, boys to, to be able to use girls' showers and locker rooms, boys to share overnight hotel stays with uh, girls on van trips or other field trips. And the fact is, it doesn't make any sense. And I know that, you know, people have you know, their concerns and issues, everybody has concerns and issues, but we cannot put at risk and at jeopardy uh, our young children and teenage girls, and it goes to the sports teams as well, uh, and the fact is we should not compel teenage girls to share a locker room shower or a, or a hotel room overnight with a teenage boy. Simple as that. Thank you. 